go, still back at the uh, X9 demo. Just getting back into a bit of this irrigated wheat. Starting to thicken up a bit down this end. It's getting up over five tonne an hectare. This HD50R front is uh, 50 foot and feeding very, very well. Top cross auger. Uh, with fingers on that top cross auger on the in, you know, um, section. Combine advisor working, adjusting our speed, adjusting our settings to maintain our performance requirements. Currently, um, Adjusting uh, rotor speed and fan speed. You can see our live grain analysis there. You can see what, um, what sample's doing, actively managing that through its settings. Um, see what's in the tailings on the tailings camera. Keeping a good eye on that. And um, you can see there what our maximum set speed is. Currently managing that to about 10 k's an hour. Roughly 66, 67 ton an hour. Been averaging in the high 50s all day, ton an hour with um, you know, changing bays, unloading, unloading while stopped. We just had a um, couple of chaser bins chasing three headers, so it's we have had to stop a little bit just to um, unload. Build up on that front. It's a bit, like, a bit hard to see, but see their losses managed pretty well. Turning along nicely, 1900 revs. What was our last loss count there, Max? 0.8%. It's about 10 bucks an hectare, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. Anything in blue that you see there on the screen on those settings, that's where Harvest Smart and um, Auto Maintain is, is uh, working to adjust the settings to make sure that that's doing what we've asked it. This field averaging about four and a half ton. Daily averages. Oh yeah, daily averages there. Yeah. There's an S780 and an S680 working the same field here, both with minimal losses and uh, ground speed. You know what the ground speed was, mate? They only about 35 to 40 ton an hour. About 35 to 40 tonne an hour, and we do about 60 to 65 in the good going, so that's um, just, really, just really difference in ground speed there. Yeah. That um, it's really quite good going, easy threshing. But this 50 foot hinge draper is definitely something to, be, to see the amount of crop it can eat in. Gauge wheels. See them out the window there. There's four across the cutter bar, all taking an equal share of that weight based on ground conditions. Take that weight off the feeder house.
currently the spread width on the 50 footer um, only needing 70% speed or 70% width to throw the, um, the 50 feet with uh, auto swap on that'll uh, actually throw upwind into the wind to make sure that that's um, getting the full width and uh, adjusting for the wind and then that'll automatically swap for us when we change direction. One thing on our tours max that we haven't spoke about too much is the new radio. Um, Missed doing a bit of a deal. <laughs> it's got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto isn't it? Yep. Yeah, wow. yeah. You can get Google Maps on for Google Maps. Big, com big time contractor getting lost. <laughs> That's right. Um, unloading August swung out so that uh, camera has automatically come up. Um, you can see the adjustable spout. We'll, uh, we'll just throw into the edge of a chaser bin on um, 12 metre controlled traffic. Chase is coming down here, picking up that other header first. We've had a decent run here today with trucks with three. Um, B doubles or one with a semi with a pig trailer but decent turnaround time with I think we're going to pull up once waiting for trucks to come back the new 8R370 down there which is one of our demo units down at uh, come from Finlay it's set up on a um, machine sync to automatically control the speed and, and location of the tractor and chaser bin relative to the harvester. Really good for inexperienced operators and you know, the ability for the combine operator to control where that's going in the bin without having to change speed. It takes over control of that and um, from the better vantage point over here. Only just poking along here now because we're chock a block full you see the guys will wheel in behind us to um, to engage that machine sink as they get up into the uh, right location if you swap it over to the map page See that black dot start to appear on the screen. That's our home point. That tractor will get to its home point. Waiting for um, guys to press resume. up there means he's tracking so we don't have to be um, we don't have to be auto tracking for this to work we could be free handing the combine and the um, the tractor will still stay locked into its home position just move the steering wheel not much of a run here to the end so we're just going steady So yeah, great day. Finally got some dry weather. Thanks for watching, guys.